The Fox 44 weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. All right, Mike, it looks like it's chilly out there, but no temperatures right now in our area below freezing. Maybe yeah. some 20s? Not yet. We're in the uh, mid to upper 30s. All right, well, as long as we stay away so. from the 20s, we're, we're doing okay. good. Yeah. No the wind 20. is helping us out, and the clouds also starting to help us out, too. Take a look at some temperatures. You'll notice uh, right now there are no 20s on the board. We uh, got 40s still down around College Station. We're at 36 degrees here in Waco, 37 Colleen and Temple. A little bit colder as you work away over toward Comanche at 32. Current temperature in Brownwood right at 34 degrees. And the wind chill, yeah, it drops it because those winds have still been howling out of the northwest at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Feels like 25 here in Waco, 24 up in the Hillsboro area. Current wind chill in Mejia at 27. You can see Caldwell checks in with a wind chill right at 30 degrees. So our satellite radar, as we put it together, shows most of the rainfall well off to our east right along that uh, front. And that was the front that moved through last night. They gave us that pretty heavy showers and thunderstorms around 10, 1030 here in the Waco area. Again, that quickly moved away. Now we're looking at partly to mostly cloudy skies right now. But that area high pressure, you see that is going to be starting to slide down in our direction here overnight. And by tomorrow, we may start the day tomorrow with a few clouds, but I expect a lot of sunshine throughout the day, and it should be a rather sunny but cold day here in our region. Future forecast, as we uh, kick it off at midnight tonight, temperatures falling again into the upper 30s to uh, lower 30s. By early tomorrow morning, our computer's printing out 26 degrees, but that all depends on the clouds. If we have a few more clouds out there and some stronger winds, those temperatures will be in the lower 30s. If it calms down and we clear it out, then of course we'll see temperatures in the 20s across the region. There could be some lower 20s over toward Brownwood and Comanche. Look at all the sunshine as we go throughout the day tomorrow, but don't let that fool you. Temperatures tomorrow only in the low 40s for highs. That is it. And by 5 o'clock, we're already going down into the upper 30s. So if you have any outdoor plans tomorrow night, you're going to need that heavier cup with those uh, winds starting to kick in. And that will make it feel like the 20s for the most part. And then overnight into early on Wednesday, that's overnight Tuesday into early Wednesday, we're going to be dropping down in the mid-20s. And I think this is more realistic here because our winds will be lighter, the skies will be clear, and we're really talking about some chilly temperatures. So a hard freeze in the forecast starting Wednesday morning. And we'll see the sunshine, and that should help us as we go throughout the day on Wednesday. Again, climbing into the 40s, but it's going to take a little while to at least get to the 40s, back down into the upper 30s. This is at 5 o'clock in the evening on Wednesday. Just a reminder, we are under a freeze warning right now, and that continues through 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Just a reminder, and you heard us talk about it earlier uh, in the newscast here, just keep an eye on the elderly, the pets, the pipes, and also the plants. Again, I've seen quite a few uh, folks out there already covering up their plants in the front yard. You're going to need to do that if you want to save your plants, not, if, not only just for tomorrow morning, but for the next couple of mornings right across our area with low temperatures again falling into the upper 20s and lower 30s. Here in Waco, about 30 degrees, mostly cloudy skies, still a bit on the breezy side, and then just a few clouds tomorrow morning. Otherwise, it'll be mostly sunny. We'll top out at 41. Again, our, our wind chills tomorrow somewhere in the 30s. Not bad, but look at these low temperatures here on Wednesday morning and Thursday morning, mid to upper 20s. You factor in any wind and that's going to drop it down in the upper teens to around 20 but we're going to see the wind change back to the southwest that's a warm wind and that will allow us to climb into the 50s on thursday the 60s on friday and saturday and another little system could bring us a few more clouds and some cooler weather there on sunday and monday brazos valley the same story a lot of sunshine so that's a warm up thursday and friday looks good for the a m game on saturday and then we get a little bit cooler next week with temperatures in the low 60s some of the